Hey, this is Mike with First Updates Now. We are here at the 2019 Houston Championship with 4910 East Cobb Robotics, fresh off their Peachtree District Championship win a couple weeks ago. Um, took home uh, number 18 in the final FRC Top 25 here at Pre-Champs. And guys, it's been an awesome season for you guys, and it's been awesome watching you. So we're here with Tristan, Trey, Josh, and Caleb, and we're going to kind of dive into the robot here. So Tristan, um, starting out here, you're the, one of the drivers for the team. And uh, so you can kind of tell us a little bit about your, uh, your intake here. Yes. This is our intake mechanism. It is able to do just about everything on the field. We have a durable cargo intake and hatch mechanism, which Josh will talk more about. We have evolved it throughout the competition season and kept it up to date, up to par, and keep on moving forward with our design. Perfect, thank you. So, oh no, Josh, <laughs> there you are. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about our hatch. Um, what do you call them? Well, you can you can kind of just take us through and, and go through it. So these are our hatch grippers. We started out in uh, early build season with this model. We figured out that we could pick, uh, pick hatches off the ground with this design by putting them flat. And we evolved it through our first competition. We used the uh, this design. We originally started with this and figured out that 3D printing probably wasn't the best design because it was easy, it was very easy to break. So we went to aluminum and we figured out that if you come up against the wall too quickly that it would mess up our hatch intake. So we went to this design where it lets us just bump off the wall and not have any issues. Uh, also there's a radius here which basically makes it where we can arc the hatch to 15 degrees off of the rocket if there's any issues. So yeah, that's our hatch grippers. That's awesome. I love seeing this. I love when teams bring out things like this so we can see the iteration. So Trey, this is a gorgeous looking robot, I must say. It is beautiful from top to bottom. So tell me a little bit about that and then I think you're going to dive into the electrical a little bit as well. So this year we really pushed the boundaries with what we were going to do with our robot. Um, we dove into CNC powder coat. Um, actually this year we used two-tone powder coat, which was obviously a first as we hadn't used powder coat at all. Um, we went with a, um, a lot of designs as far as, or to keep it um, in sync throughout the robot. So you'll find rockets on the side, on the bottom, on the electrical panel. Um, there's parts everywhere um, that really represent what our team works for and helps show off the handmade side of our robot along with us pushing forward in the engineering department. And then as far as electrical goes, we take pride in how our electrical looks. We really wanted it to um, match the robot this year. So we used um, custom cable sleeving and we also used a plethora of sensors, more than we've used in the past, long, such as vision tracking, uh, brake beams, uh, limit switches, all sorts of things that help our robot stay at its peak throughout um, the games and keep us on our, keep the robot in check. All right, thanks. And Caleb, you're gonna kind of finish us out here talking about the RPG and the robot, which I'm really excited to hear about. Yeah, so this year one of the biggest components is to climb the third level and uh, so this is our level three climb this year. We nicknamed it the RPG or the ranking point gatherer. Uh, it works in tandem with the front intake as it's a three point system. So the intake creates the first two points on the, the hab point itself. And then the RPG lowers itself and uh, kind of helps propel the robot up to that third level. Uh, a neat thing we have this year is we have a Navex with the electrical panel which helps the, um, the RPG in the back keep up with the intake in the front so that it doesn't, uh, doesn't fall or tilt or in any weird way. It stays level all the way up um, as we climb that third hab. Well, East Cobb, it was really great talking with you guys today. Uh, we'll be rooting for the rest of the way. Good luck uh, the rest of the way in Hopper. Appreciate it. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.